There's a lot of trailers to navigate through and a lot of schedules to work with, um, but it was worth it. I mean, I think we wanted it to feel, when we started developing the script, to, as a big ensemble. Um, and I think it was sort of our dream cast to not only people that we'd worked with, like uh, Jennifer and Jason and but Rob But people Portry, we really wanted to, like Kate and Jillian. And Vanessa. Yeah. So I think uh, overall we really set out to accomplish building an office of comedy all-stars, and it feels like we got there. So. There were so many in the movie. I mean, I, mean, I think really... the conference room scene when they all are together, that was the first time that they were a group in the movie and um, Kate with her cheese board and Jen trying to shut them down. And, and just everybody working off of each other. It was and great. I think it was exciting because they all got yeah. along so well, but it was great to see them finally all come together as a company in a conference room together. So, yeah. We worked really hard on the script and we wanted it, you know, everybody to have an arc and for the sort of the movie to have heart at the end. And, and so we worked on the script, but, you know, after we would do it a couple times, you, you let them go. And that's really where you get the great stuff. Yeah. Working in an office or for anybody or at any company, you know, there's just a certain way that you have to sort of hold the line. You have to behave a certain way. There's just a lot of parameters, both legally and logistically. And to add into that the ingredient of chaos or drinking or partying, I think, is always dangerous and rife with tension. So I think that's a very dramatic set of circumstances to build a movie around. But it's also the one night a year that you kind of live honestly. And that's what makes it so dangerous is, is we've sort of drilled out of the office place any kind of interpersonal rough edges, you know what I mean? But that's part of life, you know? So I think this is the one night a year that's like a pressure valve, you know? So. We were definitely interns in college and, uh, you know, we were mostly sort of buying things for the office and setting up and not necessarily Trying to invited. make it not suck. But I think <laughs> we definitely saw some aftermaths and knew what we were missing. Yeah. I think for us a, a fun scene to shoot was the sort of what we call the mayhem, which is really the high point of the party with uh, Jesus riding his horse through the, you know, the party at full gallop. And those were the things where we really um, had been looking forward to shooting them and and training the horse for months to do it and so when it happened we did it twice we were just this is it we're happy there was a lot of respect that everybody had for each other and i think um there was we were lucky again to having having worked with some of this cast there was a trust and an understanding yeah. between us so it was sort of like you know, building the campers that had been to the camp the, this previous summer and then just bringing in the new recruits. I think it was just everybody kind of building off from that foundation, I think is what made people feel trustworthy. Because, you know, on a movie, there's a lot of time that's spent sort of figuring out who people are and yeah. where their tendencies are, even as a director to an actor or an actor to a director. And I think just having a little bit of a solid base um, in the footing of the people that we've worked with, I think helped everybody else come in and feel like, okay, there's something safe I can play around with And here. I think people didn't even go back to their trailers a lot of the time. We would hang out on set. So it was a great attitude that I think comes through in the, in the end, you know? I think yeah, even I think, if you haven't been in an office, I yeah, think you can relate to There's it, something you know? universal about, um, you know, it, whether you're looking for a job, you're in college, you've, you've, you're, you've been in an office for a long time. I think we tried to sort of make a broad experience. And I think there's just something relatable about you know, always having an authority, and that can be a high school principal, a college, you know, guidance counselor, somebody living on your hall, the hall in your dorm. There's always sort of somebody there to monitor your behavior in most circumstances, and I think bucking that and doing something that's charting your own path, I think everyone can relate to, and that's what we sort of tried to do here is I have a little bit of There's chaos. also other themes, you know what I mean, sibling rivalry, and, and I think people are aware, I mean, the holidays are this incredibly charged time of the year where you kind of take stock of your life. And, and so the idea that we have this tradition that has been, I think, under attack for years now is probably a terrible idea. But it's an important night. It's the night where you live honestly and, and you relieve pressure. And I think if you take that away completely, I think the whole machinery stops working in some way. So we really wanted to make, you know, that as an idea for a movie.